Welcome to Durango Cooks, the cooking show with local ingredients, local chefs, and local flavor. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV. Hi everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Durango Cooks brought to you by Inside Durango Television. I'm Louisa Drouet and I am here with Erin Jolly. She is with Cooking Matters, formerly known as Operation Frontline. We're going to call it Cooking Matters from here on out. And you might notice we're in a different place from where we usually are because we want to focus on not only cooking local but cooking for your family and teaching your kids about where food comes from. So Aaron, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And um, I'd love to first learn more about Cooking Matters. What is the mission of your, of your organization? Cooking Matters is a program of Share Our Strength. And the goal of Cooking Matters is to educate families and children about eating uh, healthy food uh, that's easy to make, tasty, and on a budget. Also, how to make it something that you can do easy at home, the whole family can get involved. And, and that food doesn't just come from a grocery store. Food doesn't right? come from a grocery <laughs> store, and food doesn't just appear on your table. It takes some planning and uh, some, some family involvement. Okay, well, one, what we're going to cook today, typically we have three or four recipes for you. And we're going to just focus on one today because we're going to show you some uh, other really good informational fun stories in between our recipe making. And we're going to be making... Pumpkin cookies. Right. And the recipe is from Ryan Lowe, Chef Ryan Lowe. He is the chef at the Ore House. And we're really thankful that uh, he gave us this recipe. I'm just excited to get it done so I can, I can have some pumpkin cookies. Definitely. We're going to use real pumpkin. First, though, we're going to head out to Twin Buttes Garden, which is what? Twin Buttes Garden is a garden located just outside of Durango. It's the closest market garden, and they have provided us with some great produce that, we've that we're going to be using throughout our course. Well, let's see what the kids did out at the farm. We're here at Twin Buttes Gardens. It's, these are a uh, half acre of demonstration gardens um, to try to determine the production capacity of small acreage and whether it is viable for the future development at Twin Buttes. What do we have here? Beets? Um, for a lot of kids, I think it is kind of a new thing here? to um, be directly um, connected with the soil in which the is growing their crops. For a lot of them it's the first time they've actually had food directly from the plant and so I always find it very exciting to encourage them to eat straight out of the garden. Um, it is organic, it's not going to hurt them and it's about as healthy as you can get. These are raw beets. This is a, this is a very unique thing. It's not something that you normally eat all that much of because... Uh, in my opinion, our choice regarding food has the greatest impact on our environment almost of anything. The more we are able to buy direct from local farmers, the more money stays in our community, the healthier our land becomes, the more profitable those farmers become, and the more direct access you have to the healthiest, best quality products available. Uh, <laughs> Right. I've got a squash straight from the Garden of Gaze. Encouraging people to have a direct connection and a direct relationship with their food, I think has a lasting impact that to me is um, the key to improving the health of our environment in the long run. Well, now that we have a healthy salad made, we are going to move on to something a little more yummy. The salads are, of course, really good. We're going to move on to making pumpkin cookies. And I've got my helpers from Big Brothers Big Sisters. We've got Courtney, Gail, Kendrick, and Eric. And of course, you are the big sister and you're the little, yeah. right? And the big brother and the little, if you will, right? <laughs> Well, there are obviously a lot of great local foods in this area and a lot of great things you can do with the local foods. And so we're going to do pumpkin cookies. And what do you have got here? You've got your pumpkin, got pumpkin from Nature's Oasis. And we've got this beautiful green bowl from Durango Coffee Company full of flour. flour. And just to speed things up a little bit, we've already cooked the pumpkin. We have Ryan Lowe's recipe. Ryan is the chef at the Ore House. Okay, so the first thing we need is a 
cup of mashed pumpkin. So Kendrick, let's scoop that out of the, of the cooked pumpkin here, the shell. Right, we're gonna put it in the bowl and Courtney here is gonna mash it up for us. You're gonna have to work harder than that. Make it work. Boy, that isn't, yeah. Make sure your pumpkin is cooked thoroughly. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. Courtney's for you, they said you're not strong enough. <laughs> See, and this is what cooking with your family is all about. It's about having fun and enjoying the holidays or any time of year. So we're gonna continue working on mashing up the pumpkin. And of course, you can go online to uh, inside Durango t or DurangoTV.com and find the recipe under Durango Cooks. All right, so we have some good stirring here. Courtney, why don't you give it one last mix? Okay. <laughs> you can use two mixers. <laughs> so we're gonna finish mixing this up and we're gonna chill it for about an hour. And while we do that, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back and show you what we're gonna do with it. Hey, let's have a little taste. 